So in this video, we're going to do a quick introduction to the various uh, features of Inertia 2011 running in Veristand. I'm going to use our Inertia 2011 example project. I'm going to pick that and run that. And doing this will uh, deploy basically this project, in this case to my uh, PC, and then launch the Veristand workspace. In the workspace, the Inertia custom device adds a custom display item seen down here. The display item shows the various control objects that you have defined and allows you to switch between different active control modes and allows you to enter in manual set points. There's also a properties dialog which allows you to configure which objects are shown, um, different precisions, um, ramp rates, uh, colors and so on. If I put in a new set point here, and you can see my set point is now ramping. So this allows you to do a manual control basically of your various control objects in your system. Inertia also adds a number of tools. In this case we'll look at the PID tuning tool. This basically allows you to set your PID gains for all the different control modes in your system. You can set you know, the P, the I, D gains, rate limits, feed forward, min max voltage, you can tune our amplitude control algorithm, and a number of other advanced settings. We also provide a test editor that links directly into the control objects that you've created with inertia. Let me open an example profile here. So in the profile basically you can simply drag and drop various step types into your profile um, and do such things as ramping, waveform playback, bump list mode switching, data point playback, um, various uh, logging features. You can create different log files, different triggered log files, all that basically within a test. And there it's um, virtually no limit to the size of the test and the number of control objects within a test. We also provide a example test execution interface. This is a LabVIEW VI which either we customize or you can customize or have a third party house customize. Um, it pr provides a user interface for opening and running particular tests. In this example, let me just open example test. I can open probe windows and move these. The probe windows basically show the current state of the test. Let me select load motor here. I have my test open. I can select run. It will deploy the test down to the controller, in this case just my PC, and run the profile. You can see the probe windows basically are highlighting the particular active step in the test. And you can see the set points basically changing as the test is running. Test stops. Basically I can look at the data, rerun the test, kind of do whatever I want to do. So let's close the user interface and go into the configuration portion of Inertia. For that, I will bring up the System Explorer utility. So I'll hit the Configure Project, which first opens the Project Explorer. In the Project Explorer, I'll go into the System Definition and look at that. In System Explorer, that is where you define your control objects that Inertia uses. The objects and the control modes, and you can even group them. In System Explorer, Inertia adds um, a custom device to your configuration. In the configuration, you can specify control groups. Uh, in this 
this example, I have dynamometer example as control group, and then control objects. Uh, control objects typically represent a physical device, like a motor, an actuator, a valve, something that you are physically controlling. Underneath each physical device, control object, you can specify any number of control modes. In this case, we have speed and torque control modes for each motor. Um, if you wanted to, like an actuator, you could have a uh, load displacement and so on. Each control mode can then be configured to use particular feedback outputs and set points. You can choose enter to use the built-in set point or user set point and so on. Inertia also adds custom steps to procedures. And if I look at the procedure steps available here, it adds basically the ability to stop tests, set values, disable control objects, and perform mode transfers on the objects that you've defined in the inertia custom device. In this case, we can um, mode transfer between speed and torque, we can stop our test from running, and so on. So that basically concludes this part um, of the Inertia 2011, and please look for additional videos coming soon.